Social media helped her escape from the abuse at home. For safety reasons, where this name and identity have been changed. The worst abuse was from my father. It was sexual and physical. He touched my body. He kept me at home, did not want me to go out to school. I'm 19 years old now, and when he started the abuse, I was only 12. My mother and sisters escaped to this shelter. A network of independently run shelters has provided help to 1,200 Iraqi women since 2003. As a domestic abuse victim herself, Janat al Ghazi, who runs the organization, says government's failure to pass laws to protect women gives immunity to perpetrators. Government shelters put impossible terms for a woman who seeks refuge. There is no strategy to offer help. It took eight years to take the law to parliament, but they failed to approve it. There is a law which prevents harsh punishment for killings based on honor. Another legislation gives the husband the right to beat his wife under the pretext of discipline. Statistics are impossible to get. Most cases happen in rural areas. Some are buried quietly. Some pressure women to commit suicide or they just burn her and claim she committed suicide. Some report women missing and after some time we discover she was killed. Thousands of women are buried in unmarked graves across Iraq and activists say Many of them are victims of domestic violence. With no official numbers, rights workers estimate at least one woman is killed every week because of domestic issues. Across Iraq, tribal traditions, societal pressures and families' prestige all contribute to making it difficult to talk about violence against women. Mohammed has to conceal his identity for these reasons. His sister was murdered in front of her children by her husband. <laughs> For months there were problems. He broke her leg once, another time her arm once tried to burn her. My sister didn't listen and wanted to stay for her kids. Then one day he shot her. It's a pity that the case is still in the court three years later. No one can explain why. The children witnessed it and neighbors testified as well. Lawyers like Shohan say having laws is of no use unless they're implemented. There should be a special criminal court to end this. It takes a long time to solve cases of women killed related to honor. My suggestion is to disarm people and create awareness about these killings. Officials in Iraq's Kurdish region say they're taking initiatives like this hotline for domestic violence victims and a special female police unit. Last year, we recorded 3,200 complaints and some were of domestic violence. Five out of ten women who were killed were due to family problems. And unless the taboo is lifted from violence emanating from those so-called family problems, more women will continue to be buried here. Osama bin Javed al-Jazeera, Soleimaniya, Northern Iraq.